Mrs. Walsh, a reaction to the ruling, please? Would you please step out of the way? She was bitter and angry, the mother of Adam Walsh. Surrounded by attorneys, Reve Walsh had come to the courtroom specifically to address the judge, to ask that he not release the investigative files into the murder of her son 14 years ago. July 1981, six-year-old Adam Walsh disappears from what was then a Sears department store at the Hollywood Mall. An active investigation starts. Pictures of the capped, freckled boy are distributed everywhere. Two weeks later, though, two fishermen west of Vero Beach discover Adam's head, and only his head, in a canal. His body is never found. An arrest has yet to be made. Your Honor, one more thing. Last fall, after endless arguments, the media convinced Circuit Judge Leroy Moe to open the files. It was agreed the information would be put on microfilm and turned over to the news media no later than noon tomorrow. Due to developments that I, I really don't care to go into, there are other things that need to be done in this investigation before that point is reached. Prosecutors were not allowed. Reve Walsh, sitting here on the right, sat waiting for her turn to ask the judge to seal the files. She never got her chance, but she and her husband, John Walsh, believe police could make an arrest. It is this man, convicted murderer and drifter Otis Toole, who is believed by many to have killed the boy. Toole has confessed to the crime and recanted two times. If he is a suspect, police apparently don't feel they have enough evidence for an arrest and the judge doubted any arrest or grand jury indictment was imminent. And the release of this material would not be prejudicial or cause irreparable harm to the state or to its case. Based on that, the emergency motion to stay is denied.